Hi, in this video we are going to install Microsoft SQL Server 2014 Express Edition on Windows 8. This is a list of suggestions how you should use this video. The notes for this video can be found on this webpage, which is the URL is this, which is already loaded here. And if you scroll down, we can find a link to download the HGL Server 2014 Express Edition so that we can use ASP.NET C Sharp to access the database content. So the link will bring you to this page. You can always Google it. Google the HGL Server 2014 Express Edition. It will also bring you to this page. Of course, this page may change. You know, Microsoft may change this, the layout of this page. But right now it looks like this. So we can click on the download button. You will need a, a Microsoft account to sign in. I happen to have a Hotmail account, so I'm going to use that account. They may ask you to verify the account and all that, but um, since I've been using the account before, they wouldn't um, they wouldn't ask me to verify. So you will go to this page. And um, the version I want to download is SQL Server 2014 Express with tools, 64-bit, because I uh, my computer is 64, 64. My operating system is 64-bit. English, of course. Choose your country. You don't need to key in all this. You don't need to subscribe this. And you click on continue. And um, you should see this opening the exe file. So you say save file. And it will take a long time to download. Okay. So it will be downloaded to, onto your computer. I'm not going to wait for two hours with you. It's 833 megabytes. So I've already downloaded this. I have it in my hard disk, so I'm going to stop this. But unfortunately for you, you may have to wait for that. So we're going to stop that. So I have downloaded this and I saved it into, I, I, and I saved the file in my C drive temp directory. So this is the file, all right? It is um, 833 megabytes. It takes a long time to download. So I'm going to um, just, I can run as administrator or I can open it. I'm just going to right, right click on it and run as administrator. And after waiting for a while, they should ask you for something for your action. Okay, that's a long wait. So you say yes. And they will extract the files to a directory first. So you say okay. The extraction is pretty fast, but the installation will take a long time. So I'm gonna let it run. Finish the extraction. I'm gonna wait for the installation to start. And I'm going to pause this video, or else um, the video will be super long.
Don't worry about it. Your computer, um, your computer did not hang. It just takes a long time to load. But that's all. Okay. So you see this screen. Microsoft SQL Server 2014 set up processes the current operation and you have to wait for a while. And another screen will come up. So it says that new SQL Server standalone installation. So obviously this is the one that you should click on. Okay, so you say you uh, set the license terms, click on next, and um, sometimes you will see updates, you know, that would um, That sometimes happens. Okay, so they will ask you what you want to install. Um, so I will just go with the default. Okay, you may need local DB, but I did not. I I I decide not to install that. And this is the root directory. This is um, some of the directories you can find the files. And you need so much space, so you say next. Click on next, and you need to wait for a while. And this is the what instance name you want, okay, for your computer. You can go with the default instance or you can go with the name instance. So I, if you go default instance, it will be named SQL Server, not MS SQL Server. If you go with the name instance, you can specify it. So I'm just going to go for the default instance, which this is the name. Okay. You just need to remember what instance you use. Okay, you can choose a couple of things. I'm going to go with the default first. Later, I will need to enable this, but that's another story. So I'm just going to go with the default and say next. And um, what I, um, for the server, server configuration, I'm going to go for the mixed mode so that I can specify my um, super user password. Okay, I'm just going to give you a password called okay, for the super user login. I'm going to give you a password called root pass. Okay, just for easy, uh, just easy to remember. So I'm going to type root pass here. And type root pass again and um, I'm going to go next and the installation will start This will take a long time. I think it will take around half an hour to one hour.
so I'm not going to wait here okay I'm going to stop this video and when the installation finishes I'm going to start another video and I'm going to show the installation screen okay show, show the finished installation screen right thanks for watching and um, you should see the end of installation um, in the next video thanks for watching see you later